Let's move it to the Premier League, mate, because we've got, we've got a race, my friend. We have a three-horse race. No. Uh, and I'm going to take you straight to the Emirates, to Arsenal, oh. hosting Newcastle. Um, mm. Remember the reverse mm. fixture? Mm. The Anthony Gordon goal, yep. the possible red cards yep. for Havertz and Bruno Guimaraes, a bit of fallout on the touchline. Well, there was many who thought, interesting game for Arsenal. Could be a bit of banana skin, Newcastle coming back. He's at, back in the team and... A bit of bad blood between the two. Um, I'm afraid, mate, from from Newcastle's point of view, nothing of the sort. Uh, it was a 4-1 scoreline that I said on it, I thought flattered Newcastle. Arsenal mm. were outstanding mm. in the first 45 minutes. Newcastle didn't have a mm. shot. Mm. Not one shot in the first 45 minutes. Mm. Um, as good as I've seen Arsenal, Robin, they've been pretty good since the turn of the year. As mm. good as I'd seen mm. them in the first half and... They got the goal second half once the third goal went in. It was um, a bit of a clinic, to be honest, for Mikel Arteta's man. Mm. Uh, I just thought it was... I, I, I just... I thought that Arsenal were almost perfect. Mm. For, 30, for 45 minutes, that first half, that's about as complete a... A performance as they they could ever hope for, and and what I would say as well that that as well I've made a note, Rob, of that like that felt like the perfect modern that's a modern Premier League first half in terms of what everybody's trying to do in the Premier League right now in terms of the playing out in terms of the crazy high press the floating players the interchanging the everything that's trendy and cool nowadays um, from false nines to, to half spaces to full press and all this stuff that we all talk about I thought Arsenal did it perfectly and I don't know what's happened Rob since the turn of the year to yeah, Arsenal yeah. because this is different and this is this is different in in terms of like I don't know they've grown somehow. This the, the, this kind of energy, and and maybe it's from maturing and experience yeah. and Declan Rice that mm. that drives the team. But there's something tougher, stronger, more aggressive in the team. The way that they play, and they've still got the football, and maybe the football at times this season, Rob hasn't been quite as really pretty as it yeah. was last yeah. year. But the prettiness has been replaced mm. by a, a steely, yeah. aggressive, physical nature that I haven't seen. And they were absolutely all over Newcastle, Rob. Newcastle couldn't put two passes together. Yeah because of the energy and the pressing. Uh, I, I thought, Phew, that's that's as impressive. And when you said there that we've got a race, we've got a race. It, mm. That mm. doesn't look like that's going anywhere for Arsenal. And yeah. we know, we all, of course, we know about last year and some key injuries. If the kind of the, the, the spine of that team remains in place, then they look in good shape. And whilst I'm on a roll, Rob, I am going to go into a guy that you mentioned me on the air and Kai Havertz. Yeah. Now, the, the, now, in terms of something's changed in this team, uh, uh, some has changed in habits. And I, in the last two or three uh, weeks, and I'll tell you what's changed, is that he now has become an, an aggressive, mm. physical, mm. hard-working number nine. Yeah. Now, that... that is if like you know he's probably, you know whether it's him or his manager, you know the the, the number eight or the the number ten, the fancy yeah, kind of footballer yeah. getting the box scoring goals hasn't quite worked, and it's not I not as much as reinventing himself, but I think he's thought, hmm, how can I how can I really be effective and yeah. and he's gone with yeah. uh, he's gone with uh, with work and with with physicality and and closing. I mean, fans love that stuff. I mean, I, I made a career out of it, Rob. Yeah. I wasn't a technical yeah. player. I charged around, I tackled, I closed, and I worked my socks off to be favoured, to be useful for the team. Now, you know, he got his goal, and, and, and it's amazing how good things happen mm. when, when you have yeah. that mentality to run around, to, to close down. Now, you know, it, 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 um, is it just me? It, like, it's not just that Kai Havertz has come good. He's come good in an unexpected way yeah. of the way that he's been effective for the team. Mm. And long may that continue because that's useful for, yeah. for Arsenal Football yeah. Club more than the little in and out games guy in as a number eight or whatever that now seems to be fired up aggressive and scary I mean he's 6'4 and he is, yeah. he's a big guy yeah. and he's starting to use it and uh, love it yeah love it I mean, it's a good point, and and, and we, we did sort of have a little bit, bit of a joke saying, you know, uh, that you know you're in or you're out, and it must be for a long time was out, and, and it was <laughs> just a point we make. Well, the interesting, and and you've given me an extra thought to what I was thinking. Maybe Rob sometimes, and and I used to find I was an attacking midfield player, right? And sometimes now and then, depending on the game, the manager would say to me like, you know, go and play yeah. right next to the centre forward. And sometimes I didn't really mm -hmm. like that because it didn't. I like my role clarified. I like to know, you yeah. know, the detail of what I got. Mm. I'm just wondering if, if, 
You know, he's an eight, and, and when I look at Odegaard, I don't think Mikel Arteta personally coaches Martin Odegaard to do some of the things he does. I think he get Odegaard gets in them spaces, and he naturally will play a certain way. Yeah. I just wonder yeah. if, if, if yeah. Kai Havertz isn't that guy who gets in those spaces and naturally knows, but the clarification of his yeah. role as a false nine is a lot more determined. It's a lot more succinct. And you, uh, as you said, yeah. and, and I did a little piece on him at the weekend, I think he gives uh, Arsenal a different option. He's got size. He's got physicality. I think he's got a good football IQ where he knows it, where he can drift in, in into centre-backs and draw them out. Or he can play on the shoulder a little bit and, and pin people back. I just think that he kind of feels like... He looks to me like he feels more comfortable in the new role and there's more clarity to this new role than maybe as an 8 or a 10 where he's a bit in between and I don't think it naturally fits his game. It looks like Robbie is if, as if he said to himself, right, I, I want to make myself a flipping permanent fixture. Yeah, you know, yeah. how am I going to play in this team? You know, yeah. I, 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 how, how am I going to do it? Now, all I would say is, of course, he got his goal, right? Mm. He got his goal in yeah. the first half and well done. He yeah. makes a run and it ends up beautiful yeah. ball back from Martinelli. Well done. I still, I still got to say that that physicality and aggression and work ethic on its own isn't going to be enough. But the goals are starting to come, Rob. If yeah. he can add... No, no, he, he, missed might a, he, missed an easy, he missed an easy one. A, a two he nil, did. didn't he? Which he changes did. the game, which is part of the he reason he gets a bit. a bit of criticism. Yeah, and, yeah. and you're right. But yeah, he's yeah. got to, he's got to produce. But he's got five goals now, hasn't he? Is that five goals for the season, I think. Yeah. I, I, I think he has. Yeah, yeah five and, or six um, goals now. Yeah. Listen, it, 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 yeah, he's not. You know, it's not all finished and done and dusted. Six, and he's he's a great signing for them. Sorry, yeah. mate, just to, to be sure. Six, yeah, six Premier League goals. goals. Yeah. yeah. So and he spent a lot, and he wasted. I mean. That's a long time in the first half of the season. We didn't get, he got very yeah. few. Remember, they yeah, gave him yeah. the penalty, didn't they, to get his first Premier League yeah, goal? They gave him the penalty, so yeah. it's just, listen, mm. I, 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 I'll always give credit where credit's yeah. due. And if it means it goes it goes against what I believe mm. from earlier on, absolutely no problem with that. And and I wanted to give him credit, yeah. given how he's, not just this game, by the way, the last two or three games, he's been like a bit of a man possessed. And mm. it's like, I don't mind that. Like, that that's affecting the game. What you yeah. don't want is a player that's in and out and the game's passing you by, which we all, we all got to us yeah. when we were playing, yeah. Robin. Yeah. And the coaches said, don't let the game pass you by somehow. And he's, and he's just doing it. Listen, that's goals. That's that's tons of goals from Arsenal as well, from different parts of the set team. Set pieces from again, mate, as well. Another two goals mention set them pieces. again. I know. Set pieces. I know. Yeah, no, absolutely right, Robert. And... Uh, Wow, it's uh, it's exciting for Arsenal fans because, like, I think it was like December, Rob, wasn't it? They went flat a little yeah, bit, and it's yeah, like ah, yeah. they've they've gone off a little bit. But the, but since January, I think it was, I kind of look back at the results since January the turn yeah, of the year. The Liverpool they game, they have got some lost to Liverpool, and then they, yeah, they, they've, they've flown. That's it, and the cup, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. Yeah. Wow, I enjoyed the game. Newcastle had no answers for yeah. it. You know, um, I'm pleased for Joe Willick to come back and get a goal. Yeah. He's been injured forever, nice it seems yeah. like. And they're getting some players back. Harvey Barnes is back. But this wasn't about Newcastle, I'm yeah. afraid. And maybe other days will be. And other podcasts will be. This was about a performance. And this isn't against a, you know, a Burnley. This is against Newcastle United yeah. that, yeah. that can, can dig a little bit and have got strong defenders. Um, so if Arsenal... And, and, I, and I hope... The, the, and they've done it in different ways. Yeah, yeah. The, the Liverpool game was the... I, I can't remember the specifics now. Was was a, was a heavy metal. Then they had an yeah, intricate, yeah, thoughtful yeah. win. This one's a little bit in between. The manager is getting... Yeah. He's getting... He's hitting him. the he right notes in different matches. right now, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, listen, we, we've got 12 games to go and we might get to the end of March and April and things don't look as good. But I, I saw a, a, an interesting article yesterday, Rob, which said, like, the Arteta from that day in Newcastle when I thought it was a mm. foul and the goal wasn't given, but, the, you know, the disgrace, yeah. the letting himself... Yeah. There's a, there's a bit yeah. of change. There's a maturity in him and, and his team where, it, you know, he he's probably learned and, and over, this, over the course of things. He's probably learned from last season. And right now he's got his mm. team right in the groove. And, and if they can keep it there, Rob, if they can keep it anywhere near there, they've got to have a chance. Yeah, and just another a little side note for people to, to watch out for. And, and of course, Jorginho's back mm. in the side yeah. and it allowed Rice to play yeah. forward in, the, in an eight, which I think the manager, uh, Ateta, really likes that. Yeah. Um, just um, Martinelli's position, Rob, it's just something for people out there to... Because it always used to be... And, and I've, they're, they're, they're kind of learning different tactical kind of themes all the time. But yours with Martinelli, wide, wide, wide yeah. left. Saka, wide, wide right. Martinelli came in a lot more in this game. And that's where the Havertz goal came from. He, yeah. he played a lot more inside. Um, 
it's just something to watch. I mean, I haven't seen too much of that before. It may be that, that sometimes uh, Martinelli can be a little quiet. He's out there, he gets a ball, he's up against a good defender, for example, and he plays backwards and it's a little bit, he gets a little bit nullified in some games. Yeah. It's almost like the manager said to him, you know what, if you feel like you want to roll inside into these little spaces and stuff, I thought he did that well. I thought yeah. he did that well and that's different. I'm, 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 I, you were always looking for things that's different in yeah. what they do and um, we've seen that in the last four, three or four or five games. Mm -hmm. But Martinelli is kind of wandering from the left is interesting because that is different and that run across and pull back for Habits' goal was a, was a sign of that so um, evolving changing keeping it interesting for the players making it difficult for opponents to read what yeah. he's going to play um, and just final thought Rob on him really for Arsenal is that and I'm always a big believer in this when things are going really really well I hope that the manager and particularly the players just understand what it is. Understand what it's been this last yeah. six weeks or yeah, so yeah. That's, that's made them crush teams. Mm. Crush teams with pressure, with aggression, with... Um you know, some of their football and 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 when it if it goes off if it threatens to go off the rails just hang on let's remember back to what what it was that got us to this point of course yeah. you can't help if injuries affect the team's performance but i'm sure they'll be learning and understanding rob what can win games mm. well and my final point is i've always said particularly last year arsenal won a lot of games in a tight dramatic manner they're winning games easily, yeah. which is the Rolling sign. The opposition, yeah. Dare so I the say XG it, against of, Rob of, of is champions. incredible, by the way. The XG against, you know, yeah. shots conceded is incredible in terms yeah. of, of, of yeah. the opposite. So, yeah, good point uh, for yeah. to make mm. uh, as Arsenal put another four goals. Mm. Think, was it 25 goals now in, in six games since the turn of the year? I mean, yeah. incredible return uh, for yeah. an Arsenal team well that they're in pretty good form. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.